Mako has really revolutionized knee replacement. It's taken a procedure that was very good and made it nearly perfect. Primarily, this is a CT scan based system. Uh, so this is based very specifically for the patient's anatomy. We have a three-dimensional virtual model that we can use for planning, we can use for implant sizing, positioning, but also gives us the ability to make uh, very fine-tuned adjustments interoperatively. One of the primary differences for me is, again, just having real live data feedback interoperatively. Again, we're not waiting on post-operative x-rays. So it's a combination of some of the best things of pre-operative planning, but also changing our interoperative execution as well. I've done 3,000 plus knee replacements. I've lost count. And I've probably done six or 700 MAKOs now. And the technology is so good, it takes all the guesswork out of knee replacement. So my stress level from actually being in the OR is like dramatically less because I know I'm gonna go in there and it's gonna be perfect every time. This has helped us uh, to really give everyone a customized implant and it's really helped as far as not just the immediate you know, post-op recovery process but outcomes long-term. We do have patients every day that come in and they have their procedure done and they have much better quality of life um, after the healing process, which it has gone down. I mean, it used to be three or four months and it's it's four to six weeks and most people at the six week mark are doing very, very well. As a surgeon, my job is to give everyone the best possible chance for a great outcome, whether it be technology, whether it be training, whatever we can bring to the table to try to help give every patient their best potential outcome. This has been such a great tool to help do that. Mako's taken a procedure that 10, 15 years ago was, we'll, we'll do a knee on you and hope it lasts 10 years. To, we'll do a knee on you and it'll probably last you the rest of your life.